What's up everybody? Greg here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the toy table for another unboxing and review. And today it's Emperor Palpatine. Oh yeah, Emperor Palpatine. Uh, this figure here, I uh, actually picked it up uh, on Amazon. They actually had it for a really good price. I can't remember exactly what the price was, but it was definitely cheaper than normal. So yeah, I had to grab this thing. Um, overall, the box, you know, it's the typical Black Series box. Um, this one's got a little bit of damage on it, but I don't care. It's not gonna stay in the box. But we got the bio on the back, a little history. Uh, this figure comes with a couple of head sculpts, some effects, the throne, cane, but enough talk. Let's unbox it, right? Let's get this thing out of the box. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is a this this is a cool figure, and I really wanted to uh, get this in my collection. And I'm actually glad I finally did. And I'll be honest with you, I was playing the long game on it, um, seeing if it'd come up for sale on a, for a sale on, on sale, or you know something. Um, that was just the way I was rolling with this one. Uh, so clamshell, we got two different clamshells. The first clamshell on top, we got the figure, two head sculpts, the effects and the cane and the back we have the throne so let's take this thing out first try to do it look at man no noise what's up with that uh so let's get everything out and then we'll talk about everything there's the cane i do like the the effects it, it comes with are actually um attached to the hands themselves instead of something that actually goes over existing hands. I think that's a really nice touch. Pop these out. And I like I, this. This is very minute, but I, I got to tell you this. So the way they did the clamshell, it actually forms to the throne. That's a nice touch. You know, it's the little things, right? It's the little things. Uh, let's see here. I think he has an actual, he does. There's one tie or one little plastic piece right here. We need to get this off. Making all kinds of noise. I apologize. That's part of unboxing, right? You got to have noise. These are noises uh, everybody's used to. The unboxing noises but there's the little little plastic piece all right so first and foremost let me get him unposed for the throne uh, he's pre-posed for sitting on the throne which is really really cool um, let me get him all sort of straightened out here the joints on him is actually pretty tight, trying to get him all straightened back out here. So, all right, let's take, let's just break it down. Uh, first and foremost, the the actual throne itself, it is it's good and detailed. It's a good looking throne. Um, we got some actual controls here on the right side and on the left side. Um, it's a it's a well done. It's a well done piece. I'm I'm digging the throne. The uh, accessories that he come with, uh, he actually comes with this really um, crazy looking uh, cane right here, which um, I mean it's it's a solid color. Um, it's got some good detail to it. It's 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 good looking. It's good looking cane. Uh, I'm I'm a little. When it comes to the actual handle part right here, I think it's I think it's a little too long compared to the figure, and I'll show you here in just a second. 
Uh, the actual hands themselves, they come with these really cool lightning effects or energy effects. And like I was saying, let's see if this will, I don't know if it'll zoom in on this or not or focus, but they're actually coming out of the fingertips, which I think that is a very nice touch. And the coloring actually, <sighs> the fingers look elongated uh, with the coloring. And like I said, I'll see if that will, you might be able to see what I'm talking about, but I think they took the coloring a little too deep. So it almost makes it look like his fingers grew instead of having the fingers and then the effects coming out. But both hands are the same way. It still looks cool. It's still a cool effect. Um, I'm honestly, I'm probably nitpicking a little bit right now. Um, but from building dioramas and weathering and stuff like that, that's the things that I see right there is the fact that there's this weathering they've done, this paint. It just makes his fingers look extra long. <laughs> uh, the figure itself actually comes with two separate head sculpts. I mean, look here. We have uh, almost like a smirking uh, type of a grin head sculpt which is going to be this one right here. I wish uh, it's actually another room, but I actually have a, a head holder and that would have been really cool to see that. But on this head sculpt here, he's pretty much, it's almost like he's got a smile, but the detail for such a small um, head sculpt, the detail is on point. I mean, it looks really, really good. Uh, and it's almost, it's a little softer of a head sculpt too. The second head sculpt, it's his, I, I call it the more of the angry uh, type head sculpt. Let's see if I can get that right there for you. But again, the detail is really, really good. And I think this would be a good head sculpt to use if we're using the uh, actual energy effects. But uh, it's, it's a nice. It's nice to have a couple of different head sculpts. It's nice having the actual hands. Uh, the figure itself, uh, soft goods. I'm really super stoked about that. Um, it looks like the, I'm trying to see if this outer cloak actually comes off. It almost feels like there's a, a metal pin right here right here on the on the front of it um it's it it's it looks good it's a little like so when you pull the hood down it man it just pops right it pops right back up so i don't know how to actually compensate for that again it's almost like there's a metal piece right here and i'm gonna have to investigate this a little bit um on whether or not this actually comes off under underneath his main cloak uh let's see if we can do some looking here we do have a plastic um under undergarment here on the chest and the leg it's um lower part it's a soft good as well it's 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 got some flexibility to it um uh, you can i mean the the cloth itself, it's a very flexible cloth, so you'll be able to do some really uh, cool poses with him. Um, I, again, I'm going to have to figure out, I think it'd be cool if this if this would lay a little bit, but again, I'm going to have to do a little bit of research and find out what can be done as far as this, because uh, it's almost like a clasp. But as far as articulation goes, on uh emperor palpatine here um he looks like he's got some good decent articulation right there again it's a little it's gonna be a little different with uh this kind of uh, soft good on here the uh head itself we got good rotation we got a good waist um the actual pivot on this thing is awesome because of the fact that he's going to be sitting in a throne or on a throne so you would expect it to have a really good ab crunch and 
he's got a really good back bend. I mean, that's that's crazy. So it definitely has a lot of articulation. The um, lower part of this gown here, this tunic, is going to limit a little bit. But if you actually pulled it up, you could actually see right there. He's got really good hip um, hip movement. Uh, does appear to have a solid black boot, which is cool. The knees are double jointed. Um, so that's, that looks like that's going to be about it for that kind of bend. And that's because of where everything meets back here at the hamstring and the calf. But it's still a really good articulation. Uh, same thing for the other leg. Good articulation on that. We got an ankle pivot and up and down. So yeah, it's a really, really, it's a good looking figure. Uh, it's definitely, in my opinion, a must to have for your Black Series collection. Um, let me get him uh, sort of posed back up here like he would be sitting on the throne. And I think if you actually put him on the throne, um, you can actually pull the cloak down. You might be able to turn it inside out. It might lay a little better. I don't know. Let me check it real quick. Uh, it's not going to look as good, but it's it's definitely, it's, it's wild how that actually pops back up like that. But, hey, it's a soft good. And it, to me, that's a win right there. Soft goods for the win. But let's get him... Uh, you definitely, when you put him in the throne, you're definitely going to have to play with the actual cloak, uh, the hood, because it wants to bunch up a little bit when you actually put him in. Um, so I think, again, you can pull it down and uh, it'll work really good, just like I did right here. I actually pulled the hood down so it's behind him, slide him in on the throne, and... Uh, it looks really, really good, but it's a, it's definitely, you got, I mean, you, you got to have it. I mean, it's a black, if you're doing black series, I mean, um, you got to have the emperor. It's, it's, it's like a must. And to me, it's like, I'm really happy I got this now because, uh, maybe take some of my Praetorian guards, have some fun with him that way. I did notice something on the throne. There's actually... There's actually a piece of plastic right here. Um, it's interesting looking. Let me know in the comments, if you have this, do you have this little piece of plastic that sticks out right here? Uh, but it's it's a good looking, oh, and it actually pivots too. That's, that's awesome. So the throne actually pivots. So I'll tell you what, um, let's pop off a hand real quick. Let's see, let's see how they, let's, it might be easier said than done. There we go. Pop that off. Let's throw that one in there. And I think this is a really good uh, thing right here to actually, like I said, I like the fact that the effects are, even though the fingers look longer, I'm, I'm glad they're built in instead of having something to go over. I think it fits this character really well. I'm going to pop this head off. We're going to put his angry face. There we go. So this might let you see the uh, actual angry face a little bit better right there. But enough of that so you can take the uh, you know his lightning effects and pose him up like that which that's that's really cool looking um you can have some fun with these this is a nice touch right here um do a little bit of recreating uh from some scenes but uh that's a good effect right there i dig it I dig it a lot right there. So, but yeah, that's it, man. Emperor, Emperor Palpatine. Uh, like I said, I picked this up at Amazon 
and for a really good price but this might actually show a little bit better what i was talking about with the coloration on the hands see how this brown just comes way up way up past normalcy of a hand it's almost like he's got group fingers <laughs> but again i'm probably nitpicking and i mean that's it's very minute but that's a that's a, just a good looking figure right there so uh guys that's gonna be it for this unboxing and review for uh the black series emperor palpatine uh with the throne definitely leave me a comment let me know if you have this figure let me know your thoughts on this figure and also let me know what you think about the hands if you have this figure so but uh as always make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you got notifications turned on that way you'll know when i drop the next video but until the next video i'm greg this is the toy table i will see you later